Hello, everyone. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. So, yeah, we're going to be fixing that today. Don't worry, I have a plan. And hopefully this shouldn't take too terribly long. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get a wand of summoning. And we're going to have to go and we're going to have to find a whole new millionaire village. Just in order to break it. Because, yeah, there's a way to get infinite amounts of money. Pseudo-infinite amount of, amounts of money. But the unfortunate side effect is it causes the millionaire village to break. Oh, hey, they're digging down the trench for the moat. Neat. Yeah. This village, we've invested a lot into it. I don't want to wreck it. So I'll build a whole new place to wreck. That, that's moral, right? Right? That's totally moral. So yes, first we need to buy for two gold, we just barely have enough, the Wand of Summoning. That is a tool to allow you to create new villages anywhere you like. Then I'm going to buy as many windows as I can afford, and I can't afford all that many right now, unfortunately. Yep. And they didn't even have any white ones for me to buy real cheap. Oh boy. Thank goodness for this amulet. <clears throat> But yes, those windows are just going to be our money generator. They're what we're going to... What we're going to do is I'm going to build myself a mechanical hopper. And I am going to use it to steal out of the millionaire chests. And then I'm just going to take the stuff that I take out of their chest and sell it right back to them. So I'm going to turn all these windows into their most expensive form. And I'm just essentially going to be selling these windows to them over and over and over again for vast amounts of money. Yep, it's as cheesy as it sounds. And unfortunately, the effect that has is it breaks their inventory so that they can no longer recognize it for building. And so if I were to do this in this, in this village, they would no longer be able to see their own internal inventory and they wouldn't be able to, uh, to upgrade the village at all. So, to use the Wand of Summoning, I'm going to need a gold block. And unfortunately, I think the only way to make a block of metal is just to melt it down and cast it. In order to use... In order to do the cheese effectively, I'm going to need a... Uh, I'm going to need a mechanical hopper and a, and a cog. So let's get that on the cooker. Pardon me for one second. My apologies, had some minor distractions to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be... It seems to be draining out at a fairly good rate now, that the system is pressurized, as it were. But, uh, what was I doing? What was I doing? Ah, yes, I was making my block of gold and my mechanical hopper, and I need to get started on a cog. And that should be for these. Just one version of the cog dance. That's that's okay. It's okay to do a little bit of the cog dance. It's when you have to do it over and over again that it becomes arduous. That's limestone. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to use these limestone rocks for anything. No. I'm, I'm all about those smooth limestone blocks now. So, eight of these. Eight of these. Eight of these. Doop. Doop. And doop. Then, eight of these. Eight of these. Doop. And doop. There we go. Yes, nice speedy cog dance right there. And how do you make a mechanical hopper again? Uh, it's two of those. Stone rod, three bricks, three paste. Okay. I don't have any spare stone rods for crafting. Easy fix. And three of those. And... Three of those. Mechanical hopper. 
And here is our block of gold. And that should be everything we need to get cheesy. Ah, yes, we need a chest. That's why I have an iron, an iron ingot in my hand. So, just for something for the... I suppose I could just use a pyrotech chest. I could just use a pyrotech chest. It's fine. And now... All we need is a nice empty stretch of land. And unfortunately, I don't think the island is going to cut it. Like, millionaire villages are pretty huge. See, this thing is taking up... Oh, it's probably taking up close to a third of the island on its own. And unfortunately, unless I cleared out the farm and stuff in all this area, that wouldn't be enough. So... We're going to go to a sneaky little place. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need a piece of tinder because the place I'm going to go is cold. Yep. Now I think we're ready. Yes, we're going to go to a sneaky little extra place that I found on an exploration session in creative mode after hearing about it from Riley. Thank you very much, Riley. There are additional islands out there. Ah, uh, yes, and I think on reviewing things, I found out that I got the sponge just from seagrass. So, I'm swimming so fast I'm not picking up anything. But I don't want to linger underwater because it'll get cold. So, never mind. But yes... I, I was silly searching for a sponge just sitting out in the open. I should have, uh, I should have put my tank on. Need it anyway, because it's going to be cold. But yes, I should have just, uh, been punching seagrass, not looking for sponge blocks just sitting out. Get food with me? Yes, I do. Silly me, but I was distraught, shall we say. But yes, you just head straight northeast of spawn. I think I'm going slightly faster than my raft can go right now, so this is just how I'm going to go. It's a bit of a trip. Oh, I could have picked up a chest from those. I should have known I'd inevitably run across some of those platforms. Well, if we need a chest, that's how I'll do. Because I imagine this won't be the only time I'm heading to this island. This'll be, like... If nothing else, I'm going to want to go back and get more windows so that, so that I can cheese more effectively. Enough to fill up whatever I'm using as a storage crate, at least. Oh, did I go on too steep of a trajectory? Did I miss the island? Because you should only be running into ice... Like, hmm. No, I should have run into the island by now. Come on, game. Yeah, I shouldn't be running into ice. I should have run into the island. Shoot, did I go on too steep of a northeastward trajectory? Did I wander while I was underwater? Well, let's just try that again. Maybe I'll get the raft so I'm going over. Bye, Enderman. Yeah, let's... Grab our raft from the base. Do not want to lose my last life. No, that would be bad, Juju. Do I have any raft? Yes, I do. Right there. Let's pick up another tripe just because we might be there for a little while. And let's let's give that another try. 
But seriously, yeah, it should just be a nice shallow northeast path. Like, it should be somewhere around. Ah, I went I went too steep. It's more east northeast than anything. Like like so. Goodness, dehydration. What is your problem? I'm only drinking seawater. Jeez. Hmm. Yeah, it's raining. That's why I'm getting so cold despite wearing the wetsuit. I don't know. Maybe I swim a little bit faster than this raft. I wish I had a carpenter to make a Minecraft boat. That would completely settle the issue. But yes, you can see why I would have trouble finding this thing, even doing like a grid search. Just, it it would take forever before you run across these things, searching everything manually. Hell, I'm having trouble finding it, and I roughly know where it is in the first place. Nothing for it just to keep on going. Nothing for it but to tell that guardian to screw off. Okay, where are we on the map right now? Yeah, we should be getting close. So let's turn it back to daytime. That's better for our for our heat situation anyway. <laughs> Where is this thing? I'm not really seeing any any formations on the seafloor that would indicate that things are Kind of coming up. Well, I guess it's rising a little bit in this direction. Where are you, Snow Island? Tell me your mysteries. What the heck? Okay, maybe it's more east of here. I'm sorry, I should have taken a look in my creative mode and gotten exact coordinates before I did this. Yeah, ah uh ha -huh, ha uh ha -huh. ha. I was... I was almost right. There we are. There we are. Nice snow island. Yes. More importantly, this is a nice flat piece of land with nothing that casts shadows like trees and stuff. There's there's a couple of these islands out here. Just little... They're usually tiny little gravel and sand islands with a bunch of trees all over them. So let's just get a little bit inland. Polar bear, are you friendly? Or at least not unfriendly? I'll trust you for now. This looks like a good enough place. So, all we need to do is put our... Put our block of gold down, and let's put our tinder down, too, so we don't die. Oh, that's right, we have mining fatigue. Save us, Tinder. 
Okay. Let's also make the village so that we aren't... Yes. I think I will go for an industrial hamlet. There we go. We don't even lose the block of gold. Isn't that nice? That damn guardian. Okay, what is what does this dig up with? Oof. There's they are active. Does this dig up with shovel? <sighs> we'll just have to put up with it until that manny fatigue wears off. But yes. Beautiful little village. Oh, jeez. I need to stay on that tinder until my heat problem goes away. I don't think I can dig it up. Not until the mining fatigue wears off. This is unfortunate. Has the weather at least cleared up? I guess so. Doesn't seem to be piling up snow anywhere. But yes... Beautiful, tiny, little new village. This is an industrial hamlet. It would never even grow very big. So, we aren't, we aren't violating too much of the order of nature. There we go. Okay. So, where is the guild hall? Where is the trading hall? Here it is. Yes. See, unlike the other village where we had a very nice fort, this place just has a kind of open-air marketplace. Tiny little guild hall. So, I sell them all of my... all of my windows, and I have myself a little bit of a profit off of that. But, uh... That's not all we're doing today. We are being a little bit more blasphemous than that, unfortunately for them. We are going to then go into their storage room. Let's keep the tinder down. Let's find the chest where they put those valuables that we just sold them. Is it up on the trading platform? Where? Where? But where? They should be in one of these chests. Oh, villagers. Why must you subvert the cheese? There they are. There they are. Yep, don't panic. There's more chests than you think in these villages. And so, now we begin the cheesing. Put that down. Link a mechanical hopper into it. Give it a cog. And now, it will begin extracting all their goods, without us ever having to stick our greasy little fingers into it. And now, we have some lovely windows, just right back in our pocket again. I suppose I should have just got a chest. Well, this is also a little bit of extra money. Yeah, let's just leave that there for the moment. And here we are, back again. This is also why I chose a hamlet, because it's really small. I can run back and forth very quickly. Sell it all back to them. And just like that, we're almost... We're, we're like two-thirds of the way back to another life already. And the chest just restocks for us. Yes, it feels so blasphemous, doesn't it? Eh, I guess we can just leave the dark oak wood in there. It would slow us down more than it's worth. And this is why I kind of wanted to go back and get some more stained glass, just so that I could get a full... 
Are you okay with your pathfinding over there? Just so that I could get even more on a single trip. You know, yeah, now this is starting to bug out. They can't find valid inventory places. Oh, they'll buy my tripes? Nice. But yep, now we have more than a life's worth of gold. And, uh, actually, let me, let me mark this place on my map. Village of Cheese. It even has a nice yellow color on it. Let's just get rid of that. Get rid of all of these. I don't think they're going to be capable of putting anything new into their inventory anyway. And let's go back and let's buy some more windows. Just so that we can get more worth in a single trip. Heck, depending on how many windows I have in stock, I don't think I've sold too many stacks to the Normans. I, it might be worth it getting a full proper chest just in order to... Or, or even just a reinforced pyrotech chest. Yeah, a reinforced pyrotech chest is probably the way to go. I might do that while I'm here. And note that the, despite the fact that I've been away for like 15 minutes or so... They haven't really made any progress here because, for once, the village wasn't chunk-loaded. I was too far away. You just had to open that other door, didn't you? Okay, so let's buy the last of the cheap windows. And as many of the expensive windows as I can afford. There we go. And just agglomerate all of them. This will also help this village out a little bit, just clearing out their inventory. I suppose I could use the other village as a disposal for their overflow, but uh, eh, I don't think it would work too terribly well. Just because they have so much less storage than this village does. And the fact that they're upgrading their fort again means they're going to have more storage still. So this village will be a good long time before they get clogged up. In the meantime, let's make a reinforced pyrotech chest just so that we can store all the windows that we are cheesing over at... Oh. Hold on. Apologies once more. I have a, a million things bothering me tonight, it seems. But, uh, yes, what was I doing? Pyrotech work. Py pyrotech reinforced chest. Yes, yes, yes. So that's just going to need one of that. Four of that. Four of that. And there we go. Let's also get my inventory a bit more convenient for the sake of cheese. Let's get it back to daytime. And let's go. How much of my money did I spend? Almost all of it. Lovely. Yes. 1,700 blocks away from spawn. Not something you're going to find casually. I wonder... So I learned about this from Riley. I wonder how Riley found it. Or if Riley learned it from someone else, how did they find it? Did they search it up in like the game files somehow? Did they just... Start picking compass directions from spawn and get lucky? Hmm. Mysteries of the universe. I suppose that while I'm swimming along the seafloor, I could search for a sponge. But no, I need to swim slower in order to find stuff, so that's really not any good. It looks like I'm moving at about 10 meters per second. Swimming at about 10 meters per second. And I would swim probably about 5 meters a second faster if I was wearing the full the full set. I know that the full set of uh, 
of prismarine armor is faster than a raft for sure. I don't know. I'll have to take out the raft and measure its speed. Or guesstimate it kind of like I'm doing now, I guess. Hmm. Minecraft speed records. Obviously important science that needs to be done. But, you know, I could have sworn I've also seen just plain sponge blocks somewhere along the seafloor. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just my brain hallucinating on me. I suppose that's one way you could tell that you're nearing land. I've gone from deep ocean to just plain ocean on my biome. That makes a bit of sense, I suppose. You keep on going until you see that you've switched biomes, and then you start looking around. Alright. So... Well, first of all, let's make sure that the output chest is empty, just so that we have as much as possible going back into it. I'm not sure if it'll stick to this chest, like, or if this chest will be invalidated somehow eventually. I'm not sure if this is infinite cheese, or if there's only so much value I can extract out of this village before it breaks. I really don't know a lot about how this works. But here we are. And that's a lot of money. I'm earning more than a heart per per trip if I'm managing to get all my windows back again. Yeah, there's nothing in that chest now. So, it looks like they've changed around which chest they're using to this one. Oh, that was a lock chest. Oh, derp. Don't break the lock chest, stupid dumb. I mean, at least that'll pare down the possibility sooner or later. And yes, you that wasn't your notification. That was my notification. One second. My apologies once again. So... Here we are, back in... Yes, here we are. Here we are. Da, 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 da. And... Let's go retrieve the tinder, just so that we don't die. Here in the frozen north. These are going to be a problem, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to be continually restocking these, and it's going to be just dross in the way. If we're going to break the village, let's completely break the village, you know? There we are. I think this is more money than I've ever had to this point. And it's only going to get higher from there, because we need to build up a nice buffer of lives. Yep. So it looks like I'm earning about 90-ish deniers per trip. Not a bad rate, I don't think. And they've already switched to a different chest. Yeah, it's looking like it's looking like this is somehow invalidating the chest, so there might be a limit to how many times I can pull this cheese before this village is depleted. Get out of here.
But that's okay. That just encourages us some measure of frugality. Although, you know, failing all else, I could pick up a Wand of Negation, delete this village, rebuild it. Like I said, we didn't even lose the gold block. So really, it's just a matter of how patient I am. Hello. Uh, you were all the way over there, probably attempting to build the village before it gets destroyed. Ah, oh, no, here you are. All right. I think I've already got four lives in stock. Beautiful. Yep. They might eventually just run out of chests. That's fine. We are earning a pretty penny regardless. Now I'm bad at telling which side of the chest I need to put this on. Not that one. Let me out. And the tip. I feel like the village itself is fighting me at this point. Saying, no, you're not allowed. And I guess that I guess that uh, it must be per item that the durability goes down because there's no way it's done. Uh, there's no way it's done. Sixteen. It's done like that much durability on something with sixteen thousand operations in it. So yes, it is sixteen thousand items. Just continue on down the road. I mean, they would live a miserable life in this climb anyway. We're doing them a favor, making sure that this village won't prosper. Still feels vaguely heretical, though, doesn't it? Well, everyone really gets rich off of exploitation. It's just no different here. Keep it daytime. They might as well enjoy their few days in total sunlight. And now you're over there. It would help if they were at least reasonable about which chest it became. I suppose that this is how I'll tell if eventually it cycles around just by the fact that I'll see my uh, previous work on display. Okay, so that should be that side of the chest, I think. the cog. Oh, derp. 
My damn shovel's too fast for my own good. Wrong again! Huzzah! I do not know the damn chest rules. Dog. Wrong yet again. That's embarrassing. I probably should have just filled this in a bit more. There. Problem solved. For all the ten seconds, this will be a valid problem. There we go. The real question is, where are they getting all the gold that they're paying me with? If I had their source, then I'd be set. Let's go for at least 10 lives. You're already on to another chest? You're already on to another chest. And it's... I can't really tell if it's one I've used before because of the way the double chests work. I don't know if that's just being weird or not. Okay, so I need to remember, like, was it this one that I need to do now? Yes. And here you can kind of see how fast millionaire villages generate resources. Just all the little logs and dirt walls and stuff. Their basic resources, they generate very, very fast. It's only their more advanced resources that they actually need to produce in furnaces and stuff like that where you see any sort of lag time. One more for luck. One more for luck, then I will cash in. Hmm. Okay. And there we go. Nice stack of money. Loads of money. And from here, if the game will stop lagging. Hello, game. Hello, game. That was weird. It went out of full screen for a second there. <sighs> Game, you are so weird sometimes. I hope that didn't mess up the recording. In any case, let's just go over here. Take out our fat wads. And, sir, I am in need of some hearts. There we go. Nice load of money for us. Spent and cycled. Most lives I've ever had, I think. Huzzah! And now, 
Now that we have a little bit of grace, let us work on redeeming ourselves. So, once more, I'm going to make myself a pig iron bow. Once more, I'm going to make myself some hard diamond arrows. I think that they use three, don't they? Arrowhead uses two. And I already have my armor laid out. Do I need anything else? Let's see here. Well, I'm going to need bowstring, obviously. Um, da, da, da. Do I want to get... Uh, no, I don't want to raid for the end rod. So let's make another wood body arrow and we'll put some fish on it. So grab some... Wood, I think it's two or three. Arrow shaft uses two, it looked like. Wood. And I should have some feathers left still. Here we are. I think a fletching uses two. Da, 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 da. And is everything melted? Not yet. So, get out our bow limb. And it's just easy as that. Cast everything out. Get our arrowhead again. And I was kind of disappointed in the performance of Mending Moss. So I don't think I'm going to go for Mending Moss. I'm just going to give it a single... Would a diamond or an emerald be better? Let's see. Both diamond and emerald increase durability and thus ammo count. It's just that one does it by a flat amount and one does it by percentage. Regardless, rebuild the short bow. Oh, right. Bowstring. And rebuild our arrows. Now, with diamonds, it would go to 149. With emeralds, it would go to 149. Does diamond do anything else? Pfft, diamond's cheaper. And finally, I think I'm going to grab a little bit of quartz off one of those yachts just to increase the amount of damage these things do. So let's just find us a victim. Uh, you'll do. And oh right, we lost the fancy pants. So I can only carry one stack back because I only have a chisel right now. That's depressing. Well, hopefully. Hopefully. I've closed out the game a couple of times, so I don't know. But hopefully, things will still be there. Hopefully. Alright, there we go. Come on. Why you gotta fight me on this? There we go. That's better. Yes. Quartz applies the sharpness effect, which just increases the amount of damage a weapon will do. Well, any tool, but you want to put it on a weapon. You, you don't do a lot of attacking with your pickaxe if you're, you know, sane. And also can technically be used for decorations, of course. Keep up in the sky, son. I'm watching you. No laziness on my watch. You 
Can I use these slabs in any way? No. Goodbye. <sighs> Shoot. Well... Yeah, just pick them all up off the seafloor. It's fine. Zoom out our view so we can see a bit better. And... Yeah, all these are 10 kilograms. There's no glowstone trick on this one. And yes, I think it'll be fairly obvious if we need more quartz that... Uh, this one has been uh, raided already. Need is a pretty strong word anyway. It did a decent amount of damage. I was just using it poorly. All right. Oh. Let's see how much that gets us. So, sharp and sharper. And that should use all our modifiers on these arrows. We'll just keep these in a nice safe place. And now let's get ready to go. So, not gonna need this, not gonna need this, not gonna need you or you or you. Honestly, I don't think I'm even going to need the sword. But we might as well take it, just in case. Don't even know why I have you on me. Oh, because I wanted to make a chest at one point. Uh, let's keep you in a special place. I'm kind of out of special place. I don't have any real use for these. Oh, I can't store this away in a special place. Hmm... I need a proper chest for that, I suppose. I suppose this is a special er place. For that matter. For these two. Yep. Where I will promptly forget that that ever existed. Not gonna need money where we're going. Bucket is a no. Let's build another shelf, because I should never have all that much stuff in my inventory. If, I, if I'm if i carrying around so much stuff that I need more than two shelves, then I probably need better inventory management. Come on, game. Work with me. Okay, there we go. And finally, the jungle bods. Alright, anything else I need to get rid of? Not really seeing it. Okay. So, redemption time. First question is, is my stuff still there? If my stuff is still there, then I need to fight my way through the entrance. If my stuff is not still there, then I need to go back the sneaky way that I built last time. And this time just teleport out. Always lose track of where those things are. When I first zoom down. Zoom on down. Okay. Down past Mr. Pufferfish. And away we go.
You know, I don't think this portal dehydrated us because we didn't switch dimensions. I wish I knew what was happening there. Am I just bonking my head? Okay. Time for another example of my combat prowess. Holy shit, our stuff is still there. Holy shit, I forgot to put arrow I forgot to put fish on the arrows. Okay, so just stay on top of them. Come on, game. Not the time for lag. Okay. So I think that's two of them down. Yeah, that quartz is helping. What is going on with you? He looked like he was... Was he playing dead? And that's Goldilocks, isn't it? Why are you out in the main corridor? Still, if Goldilocks is in the main corridor, no wonder I was dying so quickly. Because he hurts. He hurts a lot. Come on, game. Not the time for your shenanigans. Not the time. Seriously? Seriously? Goldilocks? Hello? Okay. Ho 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 ho! We did it! We got redemption! Sweet, sweet redemption! Okay, we need to deal with some... Some of this. I bought so many tripes that first time through. Okay. So. Fancy pants. Yes. Little Annie. Check. Old O2 tank. Old boots. Old boots 2. Both books. Mask. Old arrows. I think we've got everything. I think that might be everything. Light up the area a bit more thoroughly just to be sure. Did I bring a flashlight with me that first time? Or something? Okay. You are not ruining this. I am not ruining this. Just teleport out, stupid. Whoo, boy. Okay. That feels much better. And don't de die of dehydration from teleporting. So, let's eat the books I should have eaten the first time around. Carpenter. 
Yes, that's a that is an expected lag spike just because it's updating so many things. Redstone engineer, I think that would be the project red book. And uh, an ancient text. The library has been com has been complete. All our history should be safe from the oncoming disaster. I shall take shelter in a top secret location until the cataclysm has passed. Well, I hope that worked out for you, dude. But yes, now we've done it. We have redeemed ourselves. And you know what? Now we even have a backup, a backup set. So let's put those away. It really honestly doesn't matter. All these bows are identical. So we have a couple of backup bows. That obsidian can just go. Ah. <sighs> Backup chisel, I guess. <laughs> Backup armor set one. Backup armor set two. And start to take our own gear out. Let's put all those tripes away. Just keep two on us. So these are the ones that are not end rotted. Our fire starter. Yeah, sure, we'll put that in there as an underwater light source. I'm not sure where I want the because yeah, I usually like to have a, a short range and a long range weapon on my hotbar, but I guess I'll just keep well. Eh. Mm. No, number three is for pickaxe. You know, one of these chisels can just go. You are my proper chisel. Okay, axe. Shovel. Yes. So I guess these are now the shelves of the backup weapons and and armor. And I will just need a, another couple of shelves to uh, put my stuff on just so that I ha have minimum things to lose. But yes, there we have it. We have redeemed ourselves. We now have a nice collection of lives. And we have the fancy pants back. In celebration, let's just finally give those a proper name. The... There, yes. And let us sell the village those bookshelves. Because I don't think they have any crafting uses for ourselves. Well, they have a few. They have a few. Yeah. But no. If we need more bookshelves, we now know that we can silk touch them up for ourselves. And there's still a ton left over in the... Uh, in the Jailmaster's place, so that is an easy find. But, oh, that's a relief. So, this has just been kind of a, a maintenance and making up for my own poor play episode, I suppose. But, uh, yes, we now have a path to infinite mortality. If we are in need of more lives, we just need to go and we need to cheese the village for a little while. The glorious village of cheese. But yeah, sell these guys some bookshelves, because I know the Normans eventually have uses for bookshelves. And how are they doing? Uh, they're, they need some cobblestone. They must be, they must have spent it all. Yeah. How is their storage crate looking? Yeah, they're kind of loaded up with a bunch of random stuff in a bunch of random chests. But they do still have tons of space left. Yeah, I think these are new ones that they built in in one fort upgrade or another. Ah, <sighs> relief, relief at last. I was getting stressed out having just so few lives, 
having stuff sitting out there lost. It is a relief to be back. So, as much as today was just kind of a, uh, a maintenance episode, we'll be back into it tomorrow. Or next episode, or whenever I end up recording, and whenever you end up watching. Until then, you have yourselves a lovely evening. And I will see you next time.